Guess what's back everyone and welcome back to a new video right here on this channel. In this one I'm going to show you a few trading methods and we're going to talk a little bit about team of the season, what's coming up, how we're going to deal with it, how we're going to make profit and money from it. It's all going to be happening in this video. Now, if you guys would like to see the best trading method videos then make sure to click that subscribe button down below. Also guys drop a like while there and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys will be doing for this team of the season. So yeah without any more further ado let's jump right into today's video so I was checking footbin earlier right and I saw a few interesting deals actually for example this card right here and now though how much do you reckon this card is going for right now just have a little guess right I would probably say around 2000 maybe maybe even a little bit less but this dude is actually going for way more than I thought his price shoot up the price uh, it, it really did it really did I think it's because of the SBC, the Mies Monaco one. I might have to check that in a bit actually. But he is going for around 7.9 thousand points. So as I am looking at football right now, back in February, this card was going for around 800 points. And look at that, his card really shoot up in price. He was going for about 3,000 coins right here in March. And then it just climbed and climbed and climbed. And he actually peaked at 8,600 coins. And now he's back, going back down again to about 6,000. Or right now he's going for 8,000 coins still. So I don't think Footbin is really updated yet. I actually, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did not really knew this card was going for that much. Makes him also a fantastic player to snipe. So let's have a look right here. 7,800, there are a few up. Looks like his price is going down a little bit right now. But then again, tomorrow it might be up, back up to 8,000. I don't know, it is a strange market at the moment. And to be honest guys, I do think that prices will go down even more because of the team of the season. I know icons and high rated cards, for example, Ronaldo, Neymar, Messi, they're all going down in price right now. Cool, so let's have a quick look at Cristiano Ronaldo right here. As he's not going for 7,000, that would have been very, very strange. So yeah, there are a few cards up on the market right here and it does seem like his card is going down a little bit in price. One here for, what was it, 615 thousand points 610 as well so he is going for around 600 thousand points right now price is going down massively are you guys also selling your cards let me know actually i'm kind of interested to be fair and i i do actually think though when um when the premier league team of the season is over i do think prices will go back up again a little bit don't know if they'll go back to their old price i feel like that's kind of i don't see that happening to be honest but it is going to be a very very interesting time for sure and i always love to see what's going to happen to the market right but i mean look at this drug right here here is a graph of cristiano's ronaldo normal card he was going a few uh, weeks ago in january a few months ago actually was going for about 800,000, then his price went down a little bit. It stayed the same mostly for about 700,000. And look at that for a drop in the last few days right here. My man has gone down by 130,000 points, which is madness. Let me have a look actually. What is his lowest card that he's ever been? And low, the lowest price is actually 100, uh, 600,000. So this card, this Cristiano Ronaldo card, let me get him back up, is currently at his lowest price ever in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, right? Here's a regular card, 600,000 points. So what I think could be happening here, and you guys have to correct me when I'm wrong, is what I think is gonna happen. When Team of the Season drops, and probably when the uh, Premier League Team of the Season drops, his price will probably go down a little bit more, maybe to about 550, who knows. And I reckon when the Premier League team of the season is over, because that is the most popular one, prices are going back up and this card will probably maybe even go back up to about 680, 700, maybe 750. I don't know, to be fair. I mean, again, it is going to be very interesting. I cannot really tell it, to be fair. And I, and I see that most traders have the same issue where you cannot really predict what is going to happen here because it is pretty different than last year to be honest. So this card could go down and 
same actually goes for the icons, right? So let's have a look at the icon prices right now. Let's just go. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to show you a few. Uh, let me start out with the Dutch legend himself, Ruud Gullit. Let's have a look. There's only one up on the market for 11 million coins, guys. Just one up on the market, which is kind of interesting. To be fair, how about other prime icons? Let me go and have a look at Georgie. Georgie Best, 94 rated. Let's have a look. So there are a few more right here for 3 million. I feel like icon trading could be very, very effective right now. So if you've got a few thousand coins, a few hundred thousand or maybe a few million, try to maybe pick up a few great icon deals because I do think you can get phenomenal deals in the upcoming weeks. Now while we are still at it, let's also have a look at the Ronaldo Prime. And there's currently none for the market actually. How about Pele? What about the big boys? A 99 Pele, there is a few up on the market for 7 million. One, one here for 50 million, you're never gonna sell that, mate. So there are a few up here for 7 million, which is relatively interesting. Now, if we have a look at Zidane as well, I do think it's around the same. So yeah, there are a few up for 7 million right here. So prices are actually going down, which could be very interesting, obviously. So. We could be picking up a few cards in the upcoming days, maybe this, let's have a look at a few plays. What about Varane, right? Rafael, oh Varane, I misspelled him, there we go. Let's see how much he is going for, 80,000, you know what, let me just check the cheapest ones right now, 80,000 coins, I reckon something like that, 80,000 right here, a little bit less. 84 right here, let's have a look, 79, not really, 80, 81, 82, 83, so around 83,000 coins. Now if we have a look again at Footbin and see how much my man is going for, 85 rated gold player, his price also went down big time to be fair. His highest ever was about 300,000 coins, which is a lot. Obviously that was at the beginning of the game, so don't really think that still counts, right? So if we have a look at the three month graph you will see that his price has really gone down massively but it's not at his lowest yet his lowest was around 70,000 coins then he went back up again to about 100,000 coins and now it is starting to decline again so if this card so if this card reaches about 70,000 again you know what I might even think of investing in a few hold on to them for a little while maybe even two two weeks, maybe even just one week, and then sell him on for when he's back at 80,000. But then again, guys, it, it really does depend on what's gonna happen in the upcoming days. I mean, if Team of the Season drops and prices don't go down and they stay at the top or, at, or stay at the price that they're at right now, then I don't think it's gonna be that interesting of a time, to be honest. So again, it really does depend on what is going uh, to happen to these prices and obviously with team of the season dropping this Friday it's coming very uh, very soon actually today is Monday I believe the, uh, the time I'm recording this video so today, today is a Monday so in about five days we're gonna see something interesting and I will be checking the market non-stop it's gonna be very very interesting for sure now to give you guys a few more examples of trading methods and snipe filters that currently work very very well in FIFA 20 ultimate team is the following that I saw now a few right backs actually from Germany, uh, do men to sell, uh, do sell. Let's have a look right here. I do think we can only see a few non rares. Yeah, there we go. But for example, guys, Colosterman is going for a little bit actually. Let's have a look at Colosterman right now 1.2, 1.5, not even 1.8. So the cheapest one currently is 1.8 thousand coins. So again, I could go down to about 1.5 and try and pick this card up right now. I feel like SBC trading is probably the best idea for now, simply because I don't think investing at the moment is, a, is such a good idea because prices are going down. Now obviously, if you invest in a few players that go for this card or go for about a thousand, then you know it's alright. That is, that's probably that. Is, then you could still invest, obviously. But if you go ahead and invest in, for example, if around 1.4 right here, there we go. That was a good pull, actually. Let me sell one for 1.8. But yeah, if you go ahead and invest in a few around players, chances are his price will go down right now. So if you bought a 10 for maybe 85,000 coins, you could lose a little bit of money, to be fair. So I'm gonna warn you guys: if you have big players in your team, you either have to hold on to them or sell them straight away. 
do not panic sell sell them when they're at the lowest that will be probably the worst idea to do the worst thing to do because you will sell them at their lowest and then they will probably go back up again so i don't really think that is a good way to trade at the moment but that's my opinion obviously if we have a look at a few more players right here for example Kylian Mbappe let's have a look and see how much he is going for 440,000 points let me go back to football actually Mbappe 400,000 points right there is not a lot to be fair let's see let's see let's see let's see what we got so again his price dropped massively around 100,000 coins within two days oh my that is interesting so his price dropped about 100,000 coins within two days and he is currently I believe at his lowest that he has ever been in let me have a look let me put this to all yeah he is actually so imagine if this card drops even more even further imagine if his card is going for about 380,000 coins again it could pick up to be fair I mean you could pick this card up and you can sell them all later but two weeks later for maybe even 400 coins now I don't say you have to buy this Mbappe right when Fubur or Fubur, when team of the season comes out that's not what I'm saying here I'm saying that you have to think about it I'm saying that you have to think about what you're gonna do what you're gonna invest in so I might even pick up a few Mbappe's when price is going down obviously this is a little chat that we're having right so if you guys got any other comments on how to trade with team of season and let me know in the comment section let me know any discord i can give you the discord link in my twitch so make sure to go ahead and follow me on twitch as well we got a great community i'll be talking to them a lot more often especially when the team of the season comes out and together we will make a few more coins right i mean that is the goal after all so again to end it off i think let's have a look at this atal right here as well I think he's going down in price as well to be honest guys 500,000 coins 526 that's how me let me have a quick little look right here Aptal. so his shapeshifter card did actually rose till about the 16th and then it dropped uh, almost well actually it dropped about 150,000 coins if not even more that is insane so prices really going down his card is not as close as his lowest ever but he might be he might be you know again you will never know you never know what's gonna happen it is gonna be again very very interesting to see uh, what I'm gonna have what's gonna happen to the prices to be fair but I do currently think that investing in players when the team of the season drops is going to be a good idea because I do think you're gonna get a few thousand points and especially with the icon trade right you can get yourself a few very very nice deals by icon trading this upcoming team of the season. So let me know in the comment section down below what are you guys going to do for this team of the season. Hope you did enjoy this video. If so, if so, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. But for now guys, I'm out. Take care, peace, and bye-bye.